everyone this is Hena and welcome to another tutorial of Delinear Marketing and today we are going to create a professional sort of logo design for the hypnosis business that is uh, quite relevant for the mind power clinics uh, or psychologists or the, the hypnosis coaches or the hypnotherapist expert or related businesses so it's very easy basically the concept behind this logo design is to take inspiration from the hypnotic uh, spirals and I just create the uh, created the similar patterns within the hexagon so this is very easy way to do so if you are learning illustrator then you can just adopt the uh, this strategy to create this logo this sort of logo design so let's start now first of all what I'm going to do I'm simply taking this polygon tool from this shaped uh, section and here I want to create a six size so it's become a proper hexagon like this now what I'm going to do I'm increasing the size of this hexagon and simply rotating it to a 90 degree angle by using this transform and rotate tool so you can just to uh, uh, rotate it with a 90 degree angle and now it will be look like this here what you need to do I'm just to make it more visible I'm turning it to white color so it will you can see that how it would be look like now the next step I'm selecting this and creating a copy of this hexagon and paste the hexagon in the same place so you can see that there are two hexagons by pressing ctrl C and ctrl F you can do this and now you can just decrease the size of the uh, um, another hexagon and keep it in the middle of the bigger hexagon I want to keep it a little more down in terms of size so you can see that how it would be look like now I'm selecting both shapes together and here by using the align tool I'm creating it in the center and then you can just uh, vertically align center so you can see that how the hexagon is created now what you have we have to do we need to select both shapes together again and here I want to use this align tool you can also press uh, W from your uh, keyboard to intact this uh, blend tool so I'm clicking on it and here I'm simply taking this anchor point that is the first anchor point of the smaller hexagon and I'm clicking on it and now to create a bound um, a spiral bound within the hexagon I want to choose this one and here I'm just creating a uh, I have just clicked on it and the shape is forming like this now we have to apply some settings of the blind tool so just click on it and here you can apply some spacing with the specific specified steps so I'm selecting this one and here you can turn on uh, turn on the preview mode and you can increase the value if you will increase the value then you can see that how the design is forming uh, and the intricate patterns are repeating uh, in, a, in a spiral uh, format so you can see that how the things are going I want to go with these uh, with this one and here you can see that um, uh, all the shapes are connected together and now I have just select each and everything together again and here I'm going into the object and here I want to expand it and press ok so it will be look like this now again select each and everything together and uh, here you can go into the uh, your uh, here I want to uh, apply some colors to it so before applying the colors I want what I want to do I want to expand it again one more time so it now the strokes are off and we can use the fill colors to uh, to fill the layers so now I'm I want to use this one here if you want to choose any other color then it's all up to you you can choose any color that you want you can also choose the gradients as well you uh, for this uh, sort of logo design and now the next step that I'm going to do I'm simply ungroup it and here I want to create a, and I want to choose the first layer of the hexagon and here I'm using the path option and offset path and here I'm just using the uh, 5 pixel offset I want to keep it around uh, 3 pixels so you can see that how the design is forming like this so this is very simple and very easy way to do now the next thing that we have to do we need to just uh, apply some text to it so for texting I am just writing hypno here and uh, now cancel it and you can just scale the size here you can 
choose the font of uh, uh, your text uh, whatever the font you want to choose you can just take it from here i want to go with the i want to do i want to select this straight one so might be i think i want to go with the marriott pro this is the default font and it seems good very sharp and crisp and i want to use the older version here and simply what you can do you can simply take a, by using this uh, eyedropper tool and i want to point the same color to it so you can see that how it would be look like after doing these things so simply you can paste it here if you want now it's all depend upon you how do you want to arrange your logo design you can simply select here all layers and now you can scale it down to make a perfect match with your logo design so i want to keep it here like this and here now i, I have to create a simple uh, tagline whatever the tagline you want to use so here i'm using uh, like uh, mind sciences or sorry for this mind sciences or my be psychology so now i'm canceling it and here i'm increasing it placing it here now here it needs to be converted into the regular and the character is spacing between the characters are around 100 pixels so it would be look like this now you can place place it in the middle like this so here i want to go with this one like this so this is the simple way of creating these sort of logo design and you can simply create it just by following the few steps now if you want you can just create a background layer like this here and you can choose the background color from here and here i want to keep it back so send to back and here it will be look like this now i want to I just want to keep it in the middle like here and here you can block this layer and now I'm simply taking it here like this if you want then you can also have the option to change colors as well so you can do that it's all about depend upon you how do you want to go with this sort of logo design so this is very simple and very easy way to do to create these sort of logo design. If you have any question, then you can ask me. I will come back to you uh, with another tutorial and subscribe to my channel. Have a very good day. Bye-bye.